Okay, so today I'm diving Mount Sinai in the um, in the harbor side because the wind is kicking on the sound side. So I'm testing out some new gear. Um, I have new backplate, new wing. Visibility is pretty good, but um, very silty. So gotta gotta get a good hover. Right there, I don't know if you saw it, but it looked like a good sized striped bass in the shadows that I didn't even notice when we were diving, so that's pretty cool. I was too worried about this shackle. I figured it'd be like a little bit of an entertaining place to dive because I'm underneath the docks on the um, on the harbor side, so I, would, I figured people drop a bunch of stuff in the water there. So I don't even know what this is, but it looks pretty cool. Horseshoe crab. Those are the pilings, the, um, the tall pilings that hold the floating docks out into the harbor. Here's a green crab or a calico crab, I don't know. I don't know which one it is, but he's not happy. He's not happy to see us. There's a ton of crabs, but, um, this time of the year, they're all they're all kind of buried in the mud, and uh, you can see. I think later in the video, as I pass over, you can kind of see them pop out of the mud, and throw their claws around. I think they're getting ready to hibernate. There's another one right there. Tires. There's tires everywhere. Everywhere I go, I find a tire. But they're pretty cool. Things live in them. Like this. Pretty big starfish. All sorts of junk down here. The bottom looks sandy, but there's like a layer of silt above the sand that if you kick it up, it gets cloudy real fast. Another one of the pilings with somebody's chain still on it. It's pretty cool this time of year. Um, everybody has to have their boats out of the water, so there's no boats. And here is the ghost trap. This is a, um, a killy trap or a minnow trap that no longer has a line attached so it's under the water and it's pretty much just kills anything that comes in it so the little crabs go in there they die they become bait to attract fish and the fish go in there and they die and they attract more fish and more crabs and it just kills all year round so we are going to move to try to move to a little less silty spot and then um See if I can cut this open. I'm trying to stay up current from the silt. <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out the best way to open this because usually there's like a little metal clip on top, and this one does not have that. This one is tied with string, so I'm going to have to try to cut it here. And I'm trying to cut it with the line cutter portion of my small dive knife, and it's not going, so that's kind of good to know. I had to use the serrated part to cut it, so 
if I can't sharpen that and get it to cut, that'll go in the garbage because that's unsafe to dive with something that can't cut line. And here's the first little fish. Doesn't even want to come out. He's like, no, I live here. So, trying to trying to keep everything old. I don't dive with a a mask mount. I find that it's too shaky a lot of the times. Be free, you little fish. Tons of little um, little crabs in there. As you can see behind me, where the current is going past me, it's pretty silty because I'm struggling to keep all this together here. I don't even know what kind of fish that is, but he's been in there a long time. When I when I took a still shot, you can see his like fins and stuff are pretty eroded, so and chewed up probably by the little crabs. The spider crab hanging out, tons of them. Little conch, I forget their real names. He's just cruising along, eating. And a fish head, somebody probably um, filleted their fish and threw the carcass back in. These green crabs and spider crabs are everywhere, I know. I know blackfish love the green crabs, so if you need, if you need bait, come here. And this is uh, some sort of a live bucket to keep stuff alive. That's a wallet. So that went in my pocket to see if we could find who it might belong to at the end of the dive. I tried to open this bucket, but um, it's sealed pretty tight and it was heavy, so I might go back and try to lift it. I didn't have my normal gear with me because I was just doing a dive to check out um, to check out my new my new BC, and uh, I'm diving steel tanks, my new steel tanks. So um, I wasn't able to bring that up. I don't like leaving stuff down, but. That one had to stay this time. It's a little easier if I have somebody to help me. If I can send it up on a lift bag and somebody can pull it out of the dock or something. But we'll get it out. All sorts of debris. Here is another ghost trap. But this one has no lids on it. So it's not hurting anything. It's actually like a little hideout for fish. And... If it, if it wasn't so buried, if it is buried in there good, um, could probably pull that out too, but, but fish will hide in there. This, I thought I was rich. A gold bracelet of some sort. I have to check it out. A lot of times, I um, I really don't know what I have until I I come up because um, I wear glasses and I don't have I don't wear contacts in my in my mask. I just don't like contacts so. So I'm a little bit blind under there. So usually like in the videos I'm like, oh man, I missed something. But anyway, we'll put it in the bag and see what it is later. There's another uh, spider crab popping out of the mud. Almost didn't see that one. He was big. Cinder blocks and this is a very silty spot, so I could probably push my hand down five or six inches before I feel anything. Thank you. 
shiny tiger. Must be like a one of those sanitizer bottle holders that kids put on their backpacks. My kids like to see all the weird things I find, so I, I take it with me. It helps clean up the, the sound in the harbor. Here's some spider wire sunglasses. That's what they wound up being when I uh, I read the tag on them. Spider wire is like a really strong fishing line that is a pain in the butt if you get tangled around in it because it doesn't like to cut. Filet knife. All sorts of goodies down here. I didn't even really go that far. I'm kind of probably 50 feet from the beach. There's all, all the garbage I'm taking out. And that's pretty much, pretty much uh, everything that I found. And um, if you like this video, Please leave a comment or, or like it and subscribe and, and check out some of my other videos on my YouTube channel, Sound Scuba. And that's the pier we were under during the dive. I'm not the best cinematographer when taking the fins off. See the pylons that we saw sticking out of the water there. Beautiful clear day, but it's very, very windy. Shut the light off. And uh, that's it for today. Head back home and uh, show the kids their new killie trap. Here's the killie trap. I left it over here on the water. And there's like some sort of paper note that I kind of threw in there. And it's very scribbly. And seems like almost a, uh, like a goodbye note. So I'm going to throw that out back in the water maybe. Um, there's the wallet. There was nothing in it but mushy business cards. And the sunglasses and everything.